What's going on everyone? for today's video, we're going to be talking about how to 1v3 in Apex Legends or how to wipe squads in Apex Legends, the same thing. I decided to make this to help people understand what to do when you are outnumbered. But before I begin, I do make a lot of Apex Legends content. So if you do enjoy this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you subscribe. It does help me out a lot. And let's get right into the video. The way to approach a 3v1 situation or, you know, in their favor, a 1v3 situation is to reposition and try again until you down someone. So the whole idea is you want to, you know, be doing these steps. You want to be in a gunfight, you want to reposition, and then, you know, you try again. Peak, cover, reposition, peak, cover, reposition. Um, and eventually you're going to be able to get a knock. Everything changes because you got a knock, right? They're going to be able to, they're going to have to be healing that person. Either they're going to be focusing on healing that person or they're going to be trying to push you. But the whole idea is try to make them make a mistake. But yeah, it's peaking, cover, reposition. Peaking, cover, reposition. Um, eventually, once you get a knock, sometimes you're not going to be able to get a knock. You know, and that's the whole uh, situation here is that if you don't not able to get a knock, you just kind of reposition and you try again, you know, and you reposition as many times as possible until eventually you get a knock or eventually they get third party, you know, or something happens where it's in your favor. But if you're at a disadvantage, you need to keep repositioning until eventually you're at an advantage. But that's how you 1v3. You know, you take that situation and you try to split them up. You don't try to attack all of 1v3, all three of them at once, what I'm trying to say. You know, you try to split them up 1v1 until eventually, you know, that becomes a 1v1, 1v2 the most, and you're able to get a few knocks here and there. But yeah, the whole idea is to peak, you know, gunfight, cover, reposition, heal up, reposition, fight, reposition you know there's a lot of repositioning here if you guys don't notice that but i'm going to be narrating over this video to help you guys understand my mindset or you know what i was my thinking process of what was going on because you know i didn't record my voice here but yeah hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of the video if you did please make sure to like subscribe if you haven't and uh let's get right into it at this point i'm trying to lure my teammates to be where i'm at um, by pinging enemies, letting them know, hey, there's enemies over here. I might need some. I, mean, I might need your help over here, if you guys are able to make it to me. Um, unfortunately, they did not have mics, so they weren't speaking. I was communicating as much as possible, but they were not. Um, at this point in my mind, I was thinking, I gotta clear this house, make sure no one's in here, that way we can secure it, because I heard so many gunshots over here, and I was thinking maybe we can establish ourselves here, um, and try to fight. As many people as possible but i start noticing that my teammates are getting shot at so i'm over here like okay i'm gonna try to go help try to um hold them back for a second while i get there that's what i'm letting my teammates know and then uh, i see that i notice that there's a zip line the pathfinder is zip lining over here and i'm able to hit as many shots as possible with the flat line able to get that knock which is key and i notice there's a costa right next to me and able to shoot him these key peacekeeper shots thank god the peacekeeper did not fail me there and I'm, I'm being shot at so this is the point where i'm thinking to myself okay i gotta reposition i gotta heal up and uh, my teammates are able to get that those kills but at the same time we're getting third party by a whole other team from the left side and from the top so i'm over here like okay we gotta back up bloodhound and he get he gets knocked so unfortunately we can't do anything about that um and i'm over here letting them know okay i might not be able to get you i might have to get your batters at this point, I'm thinking I got to back up and reposition what I was talking about. So yeah, that's what I was thinking was, okay, I got to help out my teammates here some, some way, somehow, um, hopefully just third party this team that they're fighting, but we have to third party them at an exact time, like once people start getting knocked. Um, and that's when I started looking at the kill feed and I start seeing, I believe, a Spitfire knock somebody right there. So that's key right there. I'm thinking to myself, okay, Bloodhound, come over here. I'm letting them know, Bloodhound, crawl your butt all the way over here if you can. That way I can revive you. But I noticed that if he tries to crawl as much as possible over here, he's probably going to get shot at. So I decide to push and try to heal my teammate. And I let him know to heal up and back up. Um, at this point, I'm thinking to myself, okay, I got a third party. This, this is key and I have to get his banner because there's only six seconds left on his banner. Well, nine seconds now, but 
I'm able to get these knocks and the rest is history. Right there, I'm thinking, okay, I got a backup reposition. Same thing that I was telling you guys at the beginning of the video. Backing up, repositioning, uh, and trying again. So right here, I notice the guy's pushing, start shooting at this guy, break his armor, and he does a weird play of crouching. I'm like, oh, here, okay, I'll take the free kill. <laughs> um, but again, backing up, uh, pulling a shield cell, repositioning. This is how you take a 1v3 situation. My Bloodhound unfortunately gets knocked. I'm over here. Okay, I'm going to have to hit my shots here. The lifeline's healing, so I'm able to kill her pretty easily. Because when you're healing a teammate or when you're healing somebody, the first instinct that you have is to press A and jump. <laughs> Which is super predictable and something that people do constantly. So if I would assume... If you're stuck in that situation, do not jump. Immediately stop healing and try to shoot at that person. Because if you try to jump, you're not gonna be able your aim is gonna be off point, if that makes sense. So that's why I was able to get rid of that lifeline super easily. But you want to make it easy for yourself. So now we're at a three squads left environment. I'm making sure my priority here is to get big batteries. Big batteries is, is key because I want to heal up as fast as possible. And I notice there's fights going on over here. I ping it for the Bloodhound to know. Um, I noticed, you know, my Bloodhound, my teammates weren't the best of teammates, but uh, they were able to, you know, serve as a distraction, um, which is key. You know, I understand everyone's got a learning curve and, you know, we all have to start from somewhere. I guess these guys were starting to play Apex Legends, but uh, I, I just knew that I needed to step up. So at this point, I'm taking the house, I'm taking cover, um, and then this is key. Pathfinder pushes us. This is where he makes a mistake. I'm able to break his shields, and then I'm able to hit as many shots on the lifeline as possible and knock her with a peacekeeper. So right there, that's what I'm talking about. Once you knock someone, you can work off of that. You can able. You're gonna be able to do crazy things with that knock. Unfortunately, here my bloodhound gets knocked, and I'm over here like, okay, I can't heal him right now. There's a guy on top, and this guy was pretty decent. He had a 99. I'm able to knock him with the flat line because the flat line just slaps people, but. Uh, if I wouldn't have hit a headshot on that situation, I, we, I, would, I was probably dead <laughs> um, because he had a 99. 99 does, is always going to beat the flat line. But right here, I'm able to kill this Pathfinder outside. And uh, I'm always repositioning. You see how I'm just backing up, healing, backing up. Right here is key. I'm able to hit headshots. I go straight for headshots. I do not hit any body shots. Well, I try to hit as many headshots as possible and then go for the body shots. But uh, that's why I was able to kill that Octane as fast as possible. I start noticing there's a heal going on over here. And then I push this Bloodhound. And then this guy's the guy that's weak. So it's a, it was a pretty easy kill. And then I heal up again. And then again, reposition and try to um, figure out where the last two people are. At this point, I, th I thought there was two people left. Right there, I'm able to kill that person that was knocked. Um... Grab this guy's banner. I'm not going to heal him up. I'm over here thinking to myself, okay, there's one guy left. Because I'm counting in my head, right? How many people are left. And I noticed that this Bloodhound ulted. And I noticed in my left, he's right here. So I start shooting at him. I utilize my cover properly. Again, um, jumping to make sure to know where he is. And then I notice that he's pushing me very, very hard. Able to hit that Peacekeeper shot and hit my flatline shots. So it was pretty insane moment i was super happy with it um and uh that's really how to 3v1 how to 1v3 in apex legends so uh if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to like subscribe if you guys haven't and i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace